Today was a big day business-wise in Boone. The ASU Walker College of Business hosted the 40th CEO Executive Luncheon at the Broy Hill Inn. State Treasurer Richard Moore provided a State of the State update. Moore, by the way, is also a candidate for governor, and he's one of the front runners for the Democratic nomination. It truly is magnificent coming up this hilltop, uh, the change that has happened here, and it's such a, a beacon of, of of intellectual prosperity. And uh, North Carolina is so lucky to have so many beacons of intellectual prosperity. After Moore spoke, Dr. Harry Davis gave an economic forecast to those in attendance at the lecture series. All the activities eventually shifted to the Rosen Concert Hall. ASU the Chancellor Ken Peacock even made a presentation to the Boyles family, and then Stay everyone got a chance to listen to the CEO of Lowe's, State. Robert Niblock of Lowe's Home Improvement, a company that has roots in North Carolina, but the company has a major presence nationwide as well. You got to have um, great respect uh, for the team that you're working with. Uh, you need to work as a team. Uh, you need to enjoy what you're doing, and you need to be very passionate uh, about what you're doing in order to be successful and to be able to lead your team and uh, and have a competitive advantage in the in business uh, in the business environment we face today. So. Last night on MTN, we provided coverage from the Boyle CEO Lecture Series at ASU. State Treasurer Richard Moore was one of the speakers, and Bill Klinger has more on one of the highest ranking officials in the state. Tuesday morning, State Treasurer Richard Moore presented a State of the State update for North Carolina. Very quick State of the State. Uh, these things were all in the paper recently, but the state of North Carolina is in the best shape it has ever been in since I've been treasurer. And even though there are multitudes of people still looking for work, overall he said the unemployment rate in North Carolina is looking better. We had, uh, for the fiscal year that ended June 30th, the state had a net gain of 80,500 jobs. In true politician form, Moore didn't have much to say that was pertinent to the high country or the people here. But I asked more what makes him qualified to be our next governor. I've had the opportunity to serve the people of North Carolina the last 12 years as Governor Hunt, Secretary of Crime Control and Public Safety, and the last seven years as a state treasurer. And in both of those jobs, we found ways to make people's tax dollars go farther, to make government work better for its citizens. I think that uniquely qualifies me to be our next governor, and I'm looking forward to this room.